All right, what's going on guys? Try back again here to bring you another video. This one's gonna be doing your daily Walking Dead video for today. In this one, first gonna give our thoughts on the idea of The Walking Dead going long running and whether or not the length of the series will ruin its quality. And spoiler the warning, of course, if you're not cut up for The Walking Dead, which is up to the second last episode of The Walking Dead Season 7. So this question kind of came in as a result of the video we did on Wednesday, uh, which is, I think it's Wednesday, about uh, The Walking Dead going for a name, 20 more seasons, this kind of deal, uh, based on an interview with uh, showrunner Scott Gimple. So um, a lot of people actually weren't happy about the news. There was quite a few comments where people were actually pissed off that they were going to try to milk it for a while, uh, as people have said. So I got a couple of messages here. One came from Clever Boy who said, Don't get me wrong, I love The Walking Dead, but I don't want them to get to the point where they're milking it for 30 seasons. And then Not a Troll 11 says, and he's, he's not a troll, guys, so don't worry. Uh, not really a fan of this, to be honest. Um, the Walking Dead says, I wish, but I doubt it. Unless the quality suffers, they are almost finished. Uh, the way they're moving, uh, All Out War is awesome, but right after is uh, Whispers, and uh, that's it. Unless some really good material comes through, I don't know. So uh, a lot of different discussions about this, some more here as well, uh, and we'll get into a few more questions afterwards, but wanted to give my thoughts on this one first. So it, it is true, it's a consideration, right? You could have a series more like Breaking Bad, where it goes for like, you know, five years, or kind of six, really, depending on how you read that last season, because it's chopped in half, uh, shown one year and then shown last year. So you could you could kind of have a show like that where you try to focus a lot on the quality and deliver like the best five or six seasons of a show um, maybe ever ever seen or some, some of the best seasons they could possibly do. Or you could go with the option where you make it long running and instead of it being like super high quality for a short amount of time and then seeing you know characters getting killed off left right and center and things like this happening and you know in the end uh, maybe your lead character being killed uh in a quick amount of time to really deliver you know really a, a strong punch and, and a really um you know high impact uh, quality type show um in a short amount of time you, you have the kind of option of going longer so you could you could pull a series and you know uh take it from maybe five or six seasons which originally the Walking Dead at one time was planned to about the point where they get to Alexandria and then it was looking to end at that point and then they kind of continued from there and I'm really glad they continued past them arriving at Alexandria and kind of the uh, safe zone so to speak as one ending of The Walking Dead I'm glad Kirkman decided to continue it afterwards and not end it with them getting to Alexandria because of course we're past that point now um, I kind of feel the same way about it now if they were to end it in a couple years I would feel like well it would be good for quality. You know, I think that in terms of quality, they could pack things in. They could have more character deaths more quickly, right? Kind of similar to what we've seen in the last season of Game of Thrones where you have a tremendous amount of your, your cast being killed off in kind of one swoop, one fell swoop. Um, you will probably never get to see that with The Walking Dead because the show is going to be so long running that they're probably never going to go through and kill like, you know, three... Uh, B-list, four or five B-list characters in one episode or in a couple episodes or something like that or have one villain be, you know, killed off. Uh, I think what we'll probably see in the future is a lot more like what we're seeing in the, the comic book series now with some of the villains where, uh, versus like the governor, where the governor is kind of killed at the end of his story, some of the other villains maybe are not necessarily killed off so quickly and, and things like this uh, with the story so that it can be kind of taken and drawn out a little bit longer for the long term. Personally, I'm happy to see it get more, even though with the understanding that they're going to be doing more and it probably is not going to be as high quality for the time they're doing it. I still am happier to see that because the thing is, is once the show's over, such as the case with Breaking Bad, um, a lot of times it kind of dies. You can have fans, like they still sell Breaking Bad merchandise. You can buy Walter White figures and you can do some of that, but there's no buzz around it. There's no hype around it. So once it's, once it's over, it's over. You know, there's very few series like Star Wars that after they end the original trilogy, you'll have toys on the shelf 20 or 30 years later from the original trilogy still selling at, at stores and merchandise and huge fans base like this there's very few series that can connect with fans in a way where they're going to be coming back 20 and 30 years uh, later um 
So for me personally, having it be a long running show, understanding that it's kind of a, there, there has to be some trade off, I think, between quality and quantity. I'm personally happy with it. Also, the thing is that we also know is that Robert Kirkman is going to continue to write the comic book series for a long time. It sounds like he's committed to it. And uh, unless something drastic happens or something significant changes with the TV series where almost all the viewers drop off or all the readers drop off from the comics, he's going to continue straight on through. So for that, I, I'm very happy because as long as he's writing, it uh, as some people said here that you know they're worried that it might get worse later on I personally actually think he's gotten a, to be a better writer over the years. I'm sure he probably would say the same thing. I don't want to put words in his mouth, but anybody who's done something for 10 years, they'll probably tell you they're better at it after 10 or 15 years than they were at the beginning, you know, when they first started and they were new and they were learning everything as they were going, uh, which is the process with any project or anything you do. After you've done something for 10 or 15 years, you probably will get better at it. So personally, I think that as long as he's writing it and as long as... Um, you know, the TV series has, has got enough of a budget, I guess I want to say, and they're putting enough effort into it, then I think it should be good. And for me personally, I think it's it's great great news because uh, I've seen a lot of series where they're kind of shorter run, and yes, they're really great, but for example, Game of Thrones is ending in two years from now, and uh, that's kind of sad because I've been used to watching the show for so many years now, you know, six years, and um, now with it ending, it's kind of like, damn, I wish they could do more. Even though it's been so so amazing and, and such high quality, um, I wish there was some way they could kind of do more. So We'll see if they do a spinoff or something like that, which I'm hoping that they do. So personally for me, uh, it's all positive. I really like the fact that they're going to you know, uh, use The Walking Dead as much as they can and uh, produce as much as they can for it. And they're not just going to end it after you know, five, seven, or eight seasons or something like that. It's going to continue on through. And they're going to try as long as they, as they can to keep it going, uh, so long as the fan base is there. So I'm personally really happy about it. I'm going to be there for it. I know a lot of you guys will be too. Uh, some of you might be disappointed because, again, there's the quality question with the uh, length of time. You know, Like I said, some examples, character deaths and things like that, it's going to have to be more stretched out and you're going to have to have more characters spend more time with them and introduce them but uh, for me I'm really happy because I look forward to The Walking Dead so much that if it, if it wasn't on, I wouldn't really know what to, what to do with myself, you know? I just uh, I just wouldn't. I know a lot of you guys are the same way because we look forward to it a lot. And that's why also I like Fear, even though understanding that Fear is it's not as good as the original. I think everybody can say that, but I still enjoy it a lot because it gives us something to watch, something during the break when there's no Walking Dead on. If there was neither of them on at all, I'd be like, shit, i got to find something else to do. So <laughs> that's going to suck. So, you know, it's just uh, it's something I enjoy so much. So, But you guys can write your comments below. Let me know what you think about the question of... Of the length of the Walking Dead series, whether or not you'd want to see it wrap up sooner, and maybe the season. You know, write down the season. What season do you think it should end at? Uh, I, I'll be happy if it ends around like maybe, maybe 13, 14, or 15. Somewhere around there, I think, would be a good length. Longer than that, I'm down for it too, but it will have to ask me in another six or seven years if I'd still be down for it. Uh, we'll have to see what kind of quality it's at at that point. Uh, Sarah Ray says, with The Walking Dead showing for 20 years, maybe Daryl can finally get some action. So I like that. Uh, Thomas uh, Sotnessy says, uh, season 55, Rick versus arthritis. Season 75, Rick versus old age. <laughs> so I like those. And we have Dev Deman who says, okay, I get they're sticking extremely close to the comics. But is it necessary to have Dwight kind of revolt against Negan? He's the Daryl in comics. Do we really need two? He should be exclusive to the comics while Daryl's exclusive to the show. And I agree with you, and I think this is this has a nice tie-in with what we're talking about now. If they're planning on doing the series more episodes, extended episodes, more seasons, then it starts to make sense, right, to keep them both, right? I mean, I personally wanted to see one or the other, and I wanted to see Daryl survive and Dwight be killed off because they're so similar. But there's actually some advantages I hadn't seen, like, for example, the scene at the end of episode 14, which made the episode even better, which which is where you don't know who it is that Rosita sees. Rosita could see Daryl, she could see Dwight, and they really, I thought that was super clever, and that's one of the reasons why I rated episode 14 as higher than 15, because I just thought that was so clever to show it in a way where you're not sure which one it is. You know, you're confused about who it is. Um, so even though I agree with you and I, I'd like to see just Daryl survive in terms of quality perspective, 
Again, we have to understand that if they're going to do this quantity idea, which is what they're setting up in Season 7 this year with a lot of new communities, more time in each community, really setting up these new characters and new, new locations, um, they're setting it up for the long haul. And having more characters is going to be better than not having enough and then not having enough story for the season, such as something that happened in uh, Season 3 where they ran out of story and they had to kind of scramble. And then uh, there were some issues near the, uh, in the second half of Season 3 with the writing and everything. So um, that's another thing. You're, you're not going to see probably as many characters be killed off as quickly. Characters like Dwight, you're probably going to see him, you know, survive for a while actually because they're, they're they just they're planning on doing it longer. They need more characters, not uh, not fewer characters, right? Even though, of course, there's still going to be deaths and everything like that. Um, the pacing is probably going to be more like a Gimple pacing rather than a season three Mazara pacing where you just have characters left, right, and center being killed like every episode. Um, or like two made two A-list characters being killed in like the same episode, you know, like like the fourth episode of a season where it's like this isn't a finale, this isn't a premiere. Why are they killing everybody? It's awesome, but this is this is kind of crazy. So um, all pro carpet care says, why doesn't AMC renew The Walking Dead up to at least season ten? A lot of channels do that. Uh, renew them up to a few seasons so that we know for sure. And uh, for all uh, pro carpet care, the reason why I want to include this one is they kind of already have. They've actually renewed uh, Talking Dead for uh, quite a while. So Talking Dead has been re- renewed for like three seasons, which would be up to like season uh, nine, uh, at the end of season nine, so like up to ten. Uh, so of course you can kind of read into that. Well, they're probably not going to have Talking Dead or Talking without The Walking Dead. We'll have to see how Talking does because uh, they're going to do that every weekend of the year um, coming up pretty soon, and they're going to do it even when Walking Dead's not on for other shows and stuff like that and, and media, pop culture. So we'll see how that does. But I would say that by them renewing Talking Dead, you're pretty much guaranteed that The Walking Dead is going to continue for at least a few more years. So yeah, it's it's kind of reviewed unofficially for another few years based on the renewal for Talking Dead, I would say. Next one is from Colton, Colwyn31 Winburn, who says, Trev, you mentioned the garbage truck in the previous video. Could it be that the scavengers are the little birdie and maybe uh, they could uh, bring some uh, saviors into Alexandria like a Trojan horse? Uh, please uh, speculate on what you think the significance is of this. Those two trucks have only two seats in them. Wouldn't it make sense to drive a... a why, why would it make sense to drive a garbage truck unless there was something inside? <laughs> so, like you want... So this is what you're thinking. So you're thinking that there's a whole bunch of, of people hidden inside the garbage in the garbage truck. And what are they using? Like hoses to breed or something? Like they're, they're in the garbage and they've got like, like uh, garbage, like garden hoses and stuff. And they're like underneath all this garbage and breathing through it. Um, <laughs> Is that what you're thinking? Like the garbage truck is a Trojan horse? Uh, that would be so ridiculous. I don't know if, you know, again, I, I'm not privy to spoilers, so I don't know if, if that's something they would do. But I think that would be absolutely ridiculously 80s awesome. And that, But it also wouldn't fit with Walking Dead. Like to me, that doesn't, that doesn't feel like Walking Dead to me to see something like that. And then all of a sudden something happens and they all come up out of the garbage and they're all over the place like (laughs) that would be so ridiculous Uh, I just can't even believe that so and we'll see but uh, you're right I mean the garbage truck by itself the dump truck by itself it's just like such a ridiculous thing to see and I'm not saying that like like it couldn't exist in a zombie apocalypse I'm just saying that it's like so it's just so ridiculous to see that there I just can't fathom why they even did that it's just so like 80s and stupid and like over the top and cartoony I just can't even imagine uh, like why they would even why they would even use the garbage truck it's like how much gas does that thing use <laughs> you know, it's like what I guess at a, at a garbage uh, you know uh, dump you might have a lot of cars with leftover gas in them or something I don't know maybe there's a lot of gas around I guess maybe that's not an issue for them but to me it's just like such a ridiculous thing it's like what (laughs) what? it doesn't make any sense at all it's just so ridiculous general rockstar says hey trev uh we haven't seen a lot of carl in season seven what do you think about carl's future uh could he eventually be killed off the show well with how many seasons they're doing now eventually he probably will be killed off the show yeah but um even as such you know he's going to university or college pretty soon now uh, it sounds like so he's not going to be in as much as as he has been in the past um, but you know it sounds like they're going to work around it they've got so many different communities so many characters uh, it doesn't sound like it's going to be that hard for them to kind of work around it so it shouldn't be too bad uh, Greasy Nolia says so the show is starting to feel stale this was a great storyline in the comic book and uh, again they're just they're just putting more setup into season 7 this is a couple episodes old this comment so um, 
Yeah, and then the last one will be from Swag Cactus says, I don't care about the episode. Uh, all I care about is the Fear of the Walking Dead promo, which is weird to hear because uh, some people really like Fear, and I do too. And I like to see the promos for Fear. They're looking pretty good this year, and I'm really happy to see that uh, Fear is going to continue on strong. So I'll call it here for today's uh, Q&A, guys. Can I do a shorter one? Tomorrow we'll probably do a longer one. So send me a bunch of questions you guys got today, and I'll grab them from uh, today and yesterday, and we'll put them into the Q&A for tomorrow because, of course, tomorrow night is the premiere for the finale of The Walking Dead season. 7 episode 16 uh, the first day of the rest of your life so can't wait to see it it's going to be awesome really excited for it if you guys like today's video please don't forget to thumb it up below you can also share you can favorite and if you're new and you want to subscribe bottom left click that damn button to subscribe so for this one see you guys again tomorrow it's Trev I'm saying peace see you guys